Welcome to Decentralized News. Today, we want to just look at uh, kind of what the crypto regulations in Africa or that regulatory um, uh, outlook looks like. So while obviously most countries around the world are embracing cryptos uh, in uh, Africa, uh, there's a slightly different approach being taken with uh, several regions, including Nigeria and Kenya, choosing to ban uh, crypto transactions and uh, warning banks to avoid them. So at the same time, you're seeing in countries like South Africa, they are, you know, uh, active in promoting uh, crypto uh, adoption largely. And uh, so, you know, we just want to sort of look at um, what uh, these developments have been and uh yeah it's just so we can have a good understanding of where we are today and what we could look forward to in the near future so crypto trading uh, actually made its way in into africa pretty much in the early 2010s just after the launch and uh so the region is quite familiar with the digital transactions in the form of uh, sort of uh, remittances and mobile money uh, obviously, this has made it easier to adopt uh, cryptocurrencies as well because we are sort of used to this uh, mobile money revolution. So there's still a long way to go in terms of uh, scaling operations. But, um, uh, you know, we've seen stances by some, you know, central banks like in 2017, I think the Nigerian Central Bank uh you know advised uh banks to not hold any cryptocurrency uh, transactions in kenya i think 2018 they also uh were warning against that in south africa in 2019 i think there was a paper published uh that recommended um kind of uh what the approach to covering cryptocurrency transactions in the countries would be and uh, these uh, regulations were proposed in order to promote uh, kind of a safe use of cryptocurrency. So currently at the moment in some current, uh, African states, there's not really any uh, regulation governing crypto transactions. So uh, obviously, if we look at countries like Kenya or Ghana, and uh, I mean, these two countries have uh, actually recorded a major surge in cryptocurrency transactions over the last couple of years and uh, on the other end of the spectrum you've got countries such as South Africa which uh, continues to develop and actually sort of uh, refine its uh, crypto or regulations and uh, the national regulator uh, is, is looking like they are quite uh, favorable to the idea of uh, uptake and adoption of cryptos it's also worth noting that obviously uh, South Africa and these sort of uh, markets are also rife when it comes to cryptocurrency scams. We've seen quite a few big ones uh, in the last few years, including Africa Crypt and uh, Mirror Trading International scams. Uh, and uh, as a result, I think regulators are trying to find a middle ground uh, to just make sure, you know, they keep these scams in check. And uh, just the fut future outlook in general, I'd say, uh, the majority of African countries will continue, will probably continue with their hard stance on crypto payments uh, in terms of um, trying to limit outflows of money in and, uh, in and out of the countries and exchange controls. Uh, and also just the number of scams that have sometimes uh, plori uh, kind of uh, found their way in, 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 in um, infiltrating um some of the communities and uh, so you know i think there's still a, a long way to go in terms of uh, actually just getting these uh, entities also like regulators and things like that um up to speed with what's going on and uh, how getting getting them to understand how either you know kind of incorporating digital currencies could uh, actually in fact benefit the economies instead of um uh threaten them in terms of uh inflows of uh, remittances and being able to just connect uh, the large majority of people that are unemployed on the continent with opportunities overseas because I think you know with uh, cryptocurrencies it enables people to render their services to people elsewhere and uh, if uh, and all they need is a mobile phone and an internet connection so I think 
uh, there's much uh, to be done on the side of uh, just educating regulators in general and um, making sure, you know, obviously we protect uh, people, uh, but at the same time, we uh, pursue aggressively uh, a pro uh, technology um, uh, environment, uh, a pro education, uh, a pro new world um, way of thinking and uh, um, kind of being receptive to some of these technologies in order for us to compete uh, at a time where, uh, you know, we are pretty much uh, struggling and uh, our local economies aren't doing so well. So, yeah, that was just my uh, take on uh, what the current uh, crypto regulatory landscape uh, looks like in Africa. Uh, yeah, please make sure you check out the links in the description to uh, support if you uh, wish to learn a little bit more about what's going on in uh, blockchain and cryptocurrencies, then you're welcome to uh, check out my books. The links are in the description. Otherwise, feel free to find free resources on our main site, decentralized.news. Uh, this is where you can find hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, curated resources to guide you and uh, kind of... Um, yeah, you know, be that help you need to discover what you need to within this space, whether that's be uh, in the decentralized finance uh, or in the NFT space or in just uh, crypto trading and all of these things. And uh, also make sure on our ecosystems tab, you can check out um, all of the platforms that we've reviewed and that we've used that we also recommend and uh, also there's a link to navigate-digital.com if you're someone who's just interested in doing business online and want uh, to know how you can go about that. There's hundreds and hundreds of uh, resources as well on that platform for you. Until next time, like, share, subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell. If there are any sort of um, topics that you'd want us to cover, make sure you leave a comment so that we can look into that for you. Until next time, peace and love.